What is up everybody, it's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool video back in Planet Coaster and a new series. Now I know what a lot of people are going to think, really Joe, another project. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Why do you have so many projects going on at once? Now this one is different. Um, kind of. In a way. So what this project's going to be is it's going to be my time lapse series because I've gotten a lot of requests to... Um, have more time lapsed or speed builds and everything like that so i thought this would be a perfect opportunity to do a new project that will never ever and i mean never ever have a live stream so this is going to be literally only um speed builds so that's how it's going to be now i did uh do the sped up footage a little bit faster than what i usually do so the um footage just kind of have some glitches in a couple of spots i don't know if i'm going to be able to fix that or not but you're gonna have to bear with it <clears throat> for right now so it's it's usually when i use the move the camera around a little too much and uh, i'll try and keep that in mind for the next possible episode so this is going to be a new park and it is going to be um again speed bills for each every single episode and what we're going to be doing is building a realistic nice um park uh that's going to have like a rustic theme so i already made a logo for this park as well as you will see later on so the name of this park is going to be Rustic City, and it's going to be a very interesting park, and I'm going to include a nice little parking lot area and uh, entrance area. So today we're going to be working a lot on the road and entrance and the uh, parking lot itself. So um, we don't get into the park entrance or into the park itself just yet, um, but it's going to be more of a rustic kind of theme to it. So kind of think of old style uh, wooden buildings everywhere with kind of like, you know, just different things like that. So we're going to be using a lot of maybe like Western kind of stuff and different things like that. It's going to be different enough from Westwood, so it's not going to be anything like that. So this is going to be a series, ongoing series. It's probably going to take me a while uh, to do, so... But on the live streams, I'm going to try and focus on finishing some of those projects in the live streams and get down to just a couple of projects at once. So I don't want to be doing more than a couple of projects at once. But right now I have two, so many that I need to get some of them finished. And I promise after this one that I will not be starting up anymore. So uh, just keep that in mind that I'm not going to be starting up anymore after this. That this is going to be it until I get uh, a, for sure get some projects completed and done. So um, there's a couple of projects that I do want to try and get done pretty quickly. And hopefully it won't take too long. So uh, so Arrow Valley is going to be one that's going to be uh, a little bit longer. Uh, that one won't be finished until uh, going into next year. And this one, I don't know how long it's going to take. But um, I'm going to be spending a lot of time on it. So um, I don't know how often I'll get episodes out. But this is going to be... It's almost, in a way, kind of like a side project that's just for fun and everything like that. So um, I'm really, really going into detail with this one as far as I can. So every time I start a new park, I'm always very confident on how it's turning out. So um, just keep that in mind, and um, we're going to get the other projects going and through live streams and everything. So this one is going to be strictly just speed builds uh, every single um, episode. So what I wanted to do is make a realistic kind of like road that will lead into the park a little bit and I didn't want and my, my biggest goal was to not let this take up too much of the space in the uh, the park itself since you know you only have so much room to work with so I didn't want this to take up too much space so I'm going to be doing it in a very compact kind of way so you're going to have the road here obviously and then you're going to have uh immediately into the entrance of the parking lot and there's going to be a section for the parking lot and then it's going to be the entrance you'll see here uh, where the entrance is going to end up at and i did focus on make using quite a few custom stuff for this build so a lot of custom billboards and everything like that as you see right now uh that is going to be the logo for this park rustic city it's going to be kind of it's a kind of a neat little logo that i came up with that i actually made myself i was actually pretty proud of uh how it turned out so it's very simple but um it's it's pretty impactful too it works pretty well so I want to hear what you guys think about the logo for the park. It looks pretty neat. And I'm going to be adding a lot of different custom images throughout here uh, just to make the uh, everything just a little more realistic. So I used a little bit of the concrete uh, stuff as well 
from Kuali Beach, uh, some of those files, I've actually used a lot of those textures, and I'm very excited, very glad that I have some of those textures. So those textures work very well uh, for a lot of different things. So what we're doing is creating a nice little sign entry. So if you turn into the park, uh, before you go into the parking lot, you know that you are entering Rustic City. So um, again, this, this is going to be highly detailed. And what we get done today is just not, we don't get a whole lot done. Um, but we get enough done that I th I was feeling satisfied with. You're seeing about uh, roughly around two and a half hours of footage in this episode. So um, I don't know if I'm going to make it longer or anything like that. But I feel like two hours a piece um, is a lot. So I don't want to make the episodes too long uh, in that regard. So, But I feel like we can get enough done, quite a bit done for, uh, every episode for about two hours. So that actually works uh, quite nicely. So... Uh, make sure I wanted to make sure that it was lit up very nicely at night, and then uh, I want uh, opted to make a kind of like a booth for the parking lot. Uh, so when you enter, um, you have to you know uh, pay for parking. Most parks make you pay for parking. This one necessarily won't make you pay for parking, but um, what it's going to do is there's preferred parking, which will cost money, and then there's free parking. So. Um, if you want to go to preferred parking, you're going to have to pay something. If not, uh, you're going to just do uh, the regular parking lot. And they'll hand you like this tag that you'll put in your dash, and uh, it'll let you know where you're supposed to be. So, And if you're in the place you're not supposed to be, then you could get a little, in a little bit of trouble. So anyways, I wanted to highly detail these little booths. Um, they're just very simple little booths that uh, you'll drive up to your, with your car. And I only made like two of them. This isn't going to be a park that's going to be huge. It's going to be more of like a family owned kind of park. So it's going to be kind of smaller. So there's not going to be uh, a billion roller coasters or anything like that. There's going to be a nice selection of coasters and a nice selection of rides and maybe even some, you know, shows to go watch and stuff like that. So it's going to be pretty, really, really neat. So one thing I really wanted to focus on really is really to um, make a lot of like custom textures, different kinds of textures uh, throughout um, the area and just kind of add some very small minor details to each and every building. So as you can see, this booth really turned out quite nicely. It, it, there was a lot of different pieces that I put onto it and it's just a very little simple booth, but I want to make sure it looked different and I want to make sure when you see it that you uh, look at it at first and say, ah, I don't know if that was made in Planet Coaster at first or not. So that's kind of the idea that goes on with this. So um, again, I wanted to build something very realistic, very nice, and very um, detailed. That's going to be the idea with this park. So we're, I'm going to make sure everything's kind of as detailed as possible. And again, I wanted to make like a very compact, uh, compacted kind of parking lot. So there's not going to be a whole lot of parking everywhere, but there's going to be some pretty good um, parking throughout uh, uh, in, in the area. So that's going to be cool. So as you see right now, we're getting into the entrance of the park. So that straight ahead, that is going to be the entrance area of the park. Uh, I don't know if it's going to remain squared. That's just kind of like my uh, uh, a placeholder, at least for now, saying, hey, this is going to be the entrance of the park. And then the uh, parking lots are going to be off to the sides of uh, this as well. So there's going to be a lot of different parking spots and I'm not gonna, I don't know how many I'm going to make just yet. Probably not too many because I don't want there to, um, you know, I want to make, make sure there's plenty of space for the park. Again, it's going to be a little bit of a smaller park. It's not going to be huge, but this is going to be, uh, that's going to be the idea so that we make these parking lots uh, work very, very well. So uh, I wanted to make sure that this parking lot was beautiful and really nice looking so I ran into a lot of different challenges and making the parking spots themselves was one of the first challenges and then making the um, the way the parking lot's supposed to be was all there's just there was a lot of challenges and trial and error in going into this so I was like I don't know how big my parking spot needs to be so I brought in one of the cars from Knight Rider just to get an idea of how big I should make the parking spots uh, themselves so they'll be nice and then after I get this first parking spot parking lot done it might be 
very easy to build another one. So, um, because literally I just use some copy and paste tools and then makes any sort of adjustments to make it fit in where it needs to be. So after you make one, uh, it's kind of easier to build more or multiple ones. So, um, this is, uh, very, very simple. And, uh, I still have the issue of stuff not lining up properly. Um, but that's okay. We line it up ourselves uh, as best as we can. And I uh, want to make sure in this park as well that there is also lots of different um, employee sections as well. And you'll see that later on in just a little bit. Uh, I actually create a little bit of an employee area uh, right for the uh, uh, parking lot um, employees. So that will be really cool. And what it's going to be is there, I'm, I'm going to be building like little tiny buildings for like, that will look, uh, maybe kind of resemble a break room or something like that because they do need to have their breaks. So the guys in the parking lots with the, uh, that are in those booths and uh, even other ones that might be nearby can actually use that break room uh, for the parking lot. So there's going to be a parking lot break room and then I'm going to try and create some break rooms for like maybe different rides and stuff like that. Uh, just... Uh, for future notice and you know I'm gonna make them blend into the theme as best as I can too so uh, if you're a guest you're gonna go huh, I don't know what that buildings for but there's a building over there and um, it's not gonna you're not gonna know if it's gonna be a break room or not so it's gonna be kind of a nice little addition to to those and I'm really starting to get into adding some custom textures throughout the uh, uh, in the parks you know using the custom billboards and stuff like that so um, I love using the concrete um, uh, the concrete textures from Koali Beach. Those are really, really nice, and they really fit well with any park as well. So I highly recommend, if you don't have them already, go to the Steam Workshop, go to Koali Beach. If you don't already have Koali Beach, you might as well get that too. They actually have uh, a link in there to where you can download the textures and import them into the game so you can have those textures for the Koali Beach Park. But I use them in my parks all the time, so I'm very, very uh, glad that... Uh, I have those now so they're very very nice and I'm gonna be adding a lot of different custom signs throughout the park as well um, to make it feel more original and more real so that's gonna be another addition as well so as you can see see I'm trying to make this very compact and very realistic as best as I can and uh, it's very it's a very difficult task but um, I think I'm gonna get it done pretty well and I feel like my parking lot making skills are becoming much better so I know a lot of people don't like watching um, parking lots being built but I feel like I just love having you know at least a little bit even if there's not that much in there uh, to have a little bit of a parking lot um, that it just you know is really neat uh, the only thing is is you know I wish they could be functional um, someday that would be amazing if they had functional uh, working parking lots like they were separate uh, pathways or something like that where you can make a parking lot I don't know just kind of like an interesting little idea that I that I thought of because there's not going to be anything moving over here um, and it's all just going to be kind of like for show so and then another thing I'm building where the guests are actually going to come through is actually a walkway that will lead into the park as well so the walkway is off to the side and it's going to be a walkway um, so if you're not parking in the parking lot you can actually take the walkway into the park and it'll take you to the entrance as you can see where the walkway is right there um, by the actual road itself those are where uh, that's where the guests are actually going to be walking into so um, it's a little bit of a nice little intersection crossing area so that way um, you know there's a stoplight too so uh, that way you can like you know you on like actual crossings you can actually push the button and it'll stop the cars so you can cross so that's going to be an interesting thing, and um, again, trying to make it realistic. I'm trying to make a, a, a uh, this right lane over here. There's a right lane that will lead into the park, and you actually ex or turn off of the. Um, it's an added lane, and if you want to enter the park, you have to go into the right lane, and that's how you get into the park. And I want to make sure it's nice and long, so when there's busy days and there's a line coming of cars coming in, you know that uh, traffic won't be backed up uh, too bad. So that's going to be the idea of that. So this parking lot turned out very nicely, and I'm actually very pleased with it so far. And it's just the start of it, so I can't wait to see uh, what we're going to be doing in the future with it. So. Um, again, uh, now that I've created one, it'll be easier to create multiple ones. So um, most of them are probably going to look about the same. I'm just going to build a couple more of them. And since I've already built um, 
you know, one, you know, you can just copy everything from it and build another one. So it's going to be a little bit, a uh, little bit more simple uh, in that regard to actually make that work. So um, it's going to be really neat. And um, by the next episode, we'll probably get into the entrance of the park a little bit, the entrance area. And uh, I'll probably finish up a couple more parking spaces and different things like that and uh, on the road and everything. Um, but I want to, again, I want to make sure there's plenty of space in the park itself that we're not going to be uh, digging a hole and uh, not have enough space in the park itself. So it's going to be a very compact little area, just a very simple little parking lot that uh, hopefully will look good and realistic in the, in the long run. And that's how it's going to turn out. So that's my goal with it. So um, a lot of different props uh, by the entrance as well the, with the uh, sign and everything. So that's going to be a nice little addition as well. So um, I hope you guys uh, are going to enjoy this series. I know I am. Uh, because it is actually one of my proudest starts of a series so far and I know there's already going to be in the comments section that people are going to be going on about how I have started another project. Now I understand that and again um, the only thing is is there's a couple of projects that I'm working on that will be coming to an end pretty soon so um, I just want to be prepared and we'll already have another one or this one going. Um, a couple projects that I do want to get finished up pretty soon, uh, pretty quickly, is a couple that I've been working on for um, in, uh, in the live streams. So a couple of those series are not going to be leaving anytime soon. So like Golden Valley uh, is a series that is never going to end like ever <laughs> and anytime soon anyways. Um, if I ever end it, you know, I'll actually say something. But that's probably going to be a series that will go on for years to come. So... Um, unless I want to, um, and then if that ends, you know, I'll probably start another story park or something like that. So that's how that one's going to go. And then there's the recreations. I kind of, those are kind of like side, um, projects that I feel as well that I don't really work on. The main, you know, projects that I work on is going to be Arrow Valley, this, and, you know, Golden Valley it will be kind of like that story park. So I have very different kinds of series that, that I love to do. And a story park, you know, I like to have a story park going on and then some other stuff anyways as well. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Let me know down in the comments what you think of um, this park, uh, how, how, the idea of this park so far, it's going to have a nice storyline and everything's going to be wonderfully detailed and beautiful. And that's the ac actual uh, what I'm going for. So um, we're coming to the end and here's that little break room I was talking about earlier in the episode. Uh, it's a little break room for the parking lot people and it's going to turn out really, really cool. So um, anyways, uh, I, this is about two, two, again, two and a half hours of footage. And um, I condensed it down to 17 minutes. I actually made the time lapse faster than usual because I get a lot of requests to do that as well. But anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. And uh, I will catch you guys next time. Make sure you have a great day and even cooler tomorrow. Thanks so much, guys. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks and goodbye.